Hi, my name is Isham Esadani. I'm 44 years old. I'm originally from Belgium and Morocco, but recently I also get the Portuguese nationality. because since I'm maybe nine years old, I was a big fan of tennis and I used to play tennis when I was younger. I remember at that time it was very, very expensive to, to play tennis. It was more for the parents who, who have money so they could send their kids to clubs. But then more and more, it gets more and more uh, cheaper. So the ball really represents one of my favorite sports. I, I remember when I was a student, Roland Garros came uh, w during the time when you were supposed to study for your exam. So I wasn't really studying. I was more watching the games and then noticed that uh, uh, I was going to be in trouble because I didn't study anything. I prefer to watch the, the tennis game on TV instead of, uh, instead of getting focused on my studies. So definitely the tennis ball is, uh, is one of my passion uh, in sport. In 1997, this artist released this album called Au Long de la Lune and her first single was La Neige au Sahara. And that song, La Neige au Sahara, was in my head for many, 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 many years ago. I can say even one decade. And when I was living in Paris a couple of years ago, like less than four years ago, I went to a gig, a Malaysian singer called Yuna, and it was a small venue, so we went to a concert. It was probably 200, uh, 200 people, and she was there with her husband. Because I had such uh, things for her song, and I collect all her albums, so I went to speak to her, and she was really, really nice. We had a really cool uh, discussion. So this is uh, Angoon. This is something that uh, I really... The snow of Sahara, La Neige Sahara, Snow in the Sahara, is definitely one of my favorite songs from, uh, from her. You should listen to it if you have a chance. The next object is something very um, dramatical in my life because when I when I graduate from school, I, um, I I have a master degree in communication and marketing. So when I graduated, the year after my graduation, my brother passed away in a car in a motorcycle accident. So I was very confused in in my life. So I didn't know what to do. So I was applying for different for different jobs. And then out of the blue, two, two jobs offer came in. One was for a Dutch bank called ING. And the other one was to work for United Airlines in uh, Dublin. And then really quickly, I think two weeks after uh, offer me the job, I had to move to Dublin, to Dublin. So Dublin is one, I was lucky to live in many, many countries. So the Dublin was definitely one of the city I used to live. Uh, one of the, it was the first city I, I lived uh, I lived abroad uh, Belgium so then I stayed there for one year and a half and um, I used to work for United there United I was very happy to work with them uh, then they transferred me from Dublin to London and this is where I met uh, I met my my partner which at the end became uh, my spouse but I'm definitely this one has a huge impact on my life the next object that I want to show is just a photo, a photography. I come from a very, when it's strange, because when you see the house, you will see, okay, this guy is kind of uh, comfortable and uh, he doesn't have any money issue. But I come from a very uh, poor family. When my parents divorced, my mom used to work as a cleaning lady. So she used to clean in offices and uh, she divorced my dad in 1987. So I, I was saying to myself that I don't wanna, I want to have a better life of what they, what, what kind of life they had. So I said, I was always saying to myself, I want to finish my study and I want to do something with my life. So this is the picture that actually from my graduation when I had my master degree and I was extremely proud. My mom, my brother came there. So, this is something that I wanted to show and share with you. Yeah, so I'm this.
I was fat, of course, <laughs> but I had more hair. <laughs> I think this is my favorite movie of all time, and I've been watching a lot of movies. It's a movie from uh, Chen Cage. In Chinese, it's Ken Chen, Cage Chen, so the other way around. And it's called Together With You. I don't know how you call it in Chinese. Together, together is like really about the emotions, about the struggling, um, you know, to, to uh, when you have, I think that's what also why I felt uh, related to it. It's because the father was giving everything to his son to be successful. And I think my mom, when she was struggling, she also tried to sacrifice herself to give, to give us the best life, the best of her life. So I think that's how I see the connection. And uh, each time I watch it, I cry. And, uh, and normally I don't cry a lot for, for movie. I find it very sad to cry for movies, but this one, it's really <laughs> makes you cry a lot. And it's the, the, the director wants the Palme d'Or for Farewell My Concubine a couple of years ago. So I watch other movies of him, but this one is definitely the best one. This one, it's also, it has a huge impact <laughs> also uh, in terms of movie, but it's the weirdest movie I've ever seen. It's a Japanese movie about a guy who wants to be the best photographer but not every kind of, uh, not, it's like something specific. He was taking photograph, photograph of underpants, underwears of women. So it's a really, really strange uh, movie, but it's definitely, you should watch it. It's a bit long, three hours, but I loved it. And once I, I discovered that movie in Paris, and when I, when I start watching it, I, I, I made some research about the, the director, like I normally do, what kind of other movie he did. So I watched a couple of them, but this one is definitely his best work. But really, it has a huge effect on me, but not on the um, emotional side, but on the weird side. So I couldn't believe that someone could, uh, could do a movie like this that was not uh, censored for 18, <laughs> under 18, but was really, really good. That's it. <laughs> And this is my little baby, Max, who also have a huge impact on our life. Uh, he came to our life two months ago, three months ago. And he's very naughty, always wanted to play. So, but we give him a better life, that's for sure. <laughs> well, although he's gonna destroy my, kind of my, my sofa. <laughs> but besides that, we really love him. <laughs>